Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. And today's project's been on my mind for over a year and a half. I'm on the master bed in my RV, and if you look directly behind me where the headboard should be, you'll see an escape window. And the problem with that is in order to get some privacy, you need to pull the shade down. And it does have a shade. The problem with that is the pillows are always getting tangled in the shade, and it makes it very difficult uh, to sleep. I just, uh, it has never worked. So I have thought of many ideas to try and correct that problem to get rid of that shade. Obviously, uh, I could use an all black tint, but that doesn't allow me to see out during the day or any sunlight in. So I finally found a window film called Rice Paper. It's a real soft uh, white look to it. I'm gonna give that a try and we'll see how it works out. Now, I don't wanna have to install this laying on my stomach trying to reach in there. So I'd like to take the window off. And being that it's an escape window, once I open it up past 90 degrees, it should pop right off the hinge. So that I'm going to try first. Uh, hopefully we can get it off and then we'll do the window film. So I've unlatched it inside so the window opens. And this is a typical escape window. Now, if I lift this higher than 90 degrees, it should come out and I need to hold on to it. <laughs> and there we go. Yes, it worked. Okay, let's get this thing into the workshop. So I've cleaned this glass three or four times to try and get every speck of dirt and dust off of it. They say dust will, will interfere with it sticking. And the next step is to basically wet it down with a water and a couple drops of baby shampoo, not dish detergent, baby shampoo because it's low sudsing. And you're gonna make it real slippery. And then I've also cut the window foam a little oversized to this window so I'm ready to put it down so the first thing I'll do is we'll spray it down and they've even given me a squeegee to use so I don't have to go find one they, they included one so I'm gonna wet this down the only thing that worries me is the edges of this safety glass has like a black coating on it that really is kind of water repellent and it looks like that's what's used for the, the weather stripping. But we'll get this nice and wet. And it basically says you can't use too much because you're going to squeegee it all out anyway. Okay. This is the window film. And it's got a, a paper backing. And you need to pull that off. It's the moment of truth here. Okay. So the trick is to pull this off and not get any dust on it. And this is sad. It's hard to make up. I was literally so shaggy when it's sticking me, so this is how it works. Okay. And the soapy water allows you to kind of move it around a little bit to get it in position. That looks like it's covered everything. And then just squeegee from the middle out. Okay, I have all the air bubbles out of it. I'm actually gonna let this dry for a little while, maybe an hour or so before I try and handle it. Cause it's still, you could still move it if you tried. So. I'll let this dry and then we'll uh, try and reinstall it. Okay, I'm back. Now when you put this back up, there's actually two pins there. That you have to line up. I think I'm right on them. And that's it. Oh, that's perfect. I can't see through there, but uh, and it's got a real nice effect to it. I don't know if you could see it on a camera. I'll try and bring it up closer. I don't know if you can see it with the reflection, but it's got like a, a grainy look to it. 
it looks actually pretty good from out here and you cannot see in. Let's go check it out from inside. So that's a look at it from the inside. It definitely allows light to come in, but you cannot see out and definitely cannot see in. So I don't need to pull that shade for privacy. So I have all the privacy I need now. Uh, I kind of like it. it. It looks really good and it solves that shade problem. Let's see if I can, if I can bring it closer. I don't know if you can see it actually the pattern on it in the film, but definitely a solution for eliminating that shade. All right, I'm going to leave links below for this particular one and some other ones that I found that, that might interest you if you need a solution like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.